I right, got everything loaded down and everything else. Got to lock up everything. Hey, what's up going on, guys? Uh, you guys are probably asking yourself what kind of project am I getting myself into today? Well, it's really not a project. We are moving to North Carolina, and I already sold the shop and everything else. I'm just taking a few pieces of equipment that I want to take. But yeah, I sold the shop and everything here that's uh, with the shop. So they're going to have a filled day with everything here. Um, the only thing they're going to need is just a mower or whatever they're going to do. Uh, but yeah, these new people are going to take care of uh, Indiana Griffin for us. And we're going to be moving to North Carolina and taking care of people's properties over there. Uh we haven't got the word out yet. I still got to get the wor word out and make flyers and uh, hand them out to different people and uh, just advertise to get actually customers first. But we'll worry about that once uh, we get to North Carolina and we already have a shop and all that built there. And I already ordered a new lawn care truck with a new mower too, so... I'm going to hit the road here, and I'll see you guys when some we are close to North Carolina. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure you guys do like today's video, as it does help out a lot. Oh, oh, time to wake up already. Oh, boy. So we made it to North Carolina. I was just taking a long nap, as it was a very long drive. But, yeah, we're... um. We're just waking up here. Uh, we're gonna be pulling up to the shop. We're not that far from it, which I have to, I think the first thing we're actually gonna do is uh, get help building a house and garage. Cause I'm not gonna keep sleeping in the shop or my truck anymore. Cause I was hell in Indiana. But yeah, we're just uh, pulling up to our brand new shop and oh wow, I can already see. These people that I hired did a very good uh, job. Wow. I'm already liking it already, and I haven't even been inside of the shop. But I guess the only thing to do now is just go inside and check inside and make sure our uh, new truck and that's here, too. Ooh. Dude, this shop is massive. We can fit a bunch of equipment in here. It has a workbench and everything. That's cool. I like that. Wow. And the lights... Yeah, I really like that. Maybe we'll shut them off for now. Uh, let's go over here, see the doors work. Yes, they do. Now this shop is brand new. The other one's brand new as well. It's just like my other shop uh, that we had in Indiana that I had built. Uh, but yeah, look at this. What's it? Oh yeah. There's a lot of store uh, space in this uh, garage. I like this a lot. I really do. And here's our uh, new truck we ordered lawn care trucks like the other one we had in uh indiana and here's our new equipment and i ordered a four-wheeler since i did buy a piece of property down the road so we won't be wasting much gas with the truck and all that but yeah let's go ahead and get unloaded and everything and we'll head down to the property call call a couple construction workers most likely call the same people that i used uh to help me uh build my shop and all that but i figured i'd just take everything with me right now just in case i need it and we're just pulling up to our property that we which is down the road from our shop but i'm gonna get to work that actually didn't take as long as i thought it was going to take these people that i hired are actually very quick when it comes to this type of stuff but yeah we have a new shop house built with a garage so we have plenty of storage to uh you know put whatever we want in the house we have a whole fence built we have a backyard which is very nice i'm gonna unload I'm probably gonna, i'm just gonna keep my this zero turn here just in case when i do need to cut the grass i can have it so i'm gonna go ahead and just take everything off the trailer and put the zero turn in the uh, garage right now yeah, like I said, we didn't go too crazy on the house as I didn't really need a big house right now because it's just me and uh, whatnot. But I'll take you guys on a little tour, uh, which don't mind that tree clip into the garage. Uh, we'll just ignore that. Yeah, let's take you guys on a little tour of this uh, beautiful shop house and stuff, which you already just seen the garage. But here's the uh, garage for the shop house, which I already have a toolbox put in there with all my tools that I need 
So just in case the mower breaks down, here's the whole inside already furnished. Very beautiful, not that big. Living room, dining room, kitchen all in one. Be bedroom and be bathroom all in one as well. You know, it's a shop house, uh, so it's everything has to be basically in one, which is perfectly fine. There's the backyard, got a pool, playground, and a gazebo. Just in case for when I got people and guests over. But yeah, let's go back up to the... Uh, our shop and let's go ahead and just find something to do as I don't really have nothing no yards to mow right now because I have no customers at the moment but I'm gonna worry about doing all the advertisement later on down the road once I'm um, actually fully ready to open and I have enough equipment to start but yeah let's go up to the uh, shop and put everything away right now all right so I just got everything put away and um, when I, we was built down there building our house and uh, everything else down there at our property, uh, someone came by and decided to install a lift in our garage. I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm not, I'm not gonna complain. It is what it is. I'm happy with it. But I, right now, I'm just taking the four-wheeler. I put everything away, like I said. I'm gonna keep the service truck up here and whatnot. I'm not going to drive it down there, but I'm going to take the brand new four-wheeler for a rip. And, well, not rip, I'm just going to like just fly down, back down to the house. And um, I'm probably going to take a nap for a little bit, wake up, and go ahead and get more equipment that we need. And then I'm going to start aver slowly advertising online. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're uh, going to do right now. Just head on down to the house, go take a nap, and... Wake up, like I said, and go ahead and get more equipment. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah, got to make sure everything's strapped down nice and tight. Don't want it to fly off or go anywhere. Oh, hello, guys. Uh, yeah, it's 10 in the morning. I bought a new truck, gravel truck, uh, filled with gravel already. Got a bunch of stone on the trailer and got a mini excavator. And let me tell you, we are loaded down, and it's very heavy. Good thing we are not that far from the shop. But yeah, this is uh, some of the new equipment that I was talking about yesterday. And um, I didn't sleep that long because I had just a bunch of stuff to do. So that's I'm not worried about that right now. I'll go back to sleep later on in the day once we're done doing what we got to do. But let's go ahead and drop all this stuff off at the shop. And uh, I actually need to gravel, uh, put some gravel down right here at the entrance as yeah, that happens. The uh, front tra uh, the trailer got stuck right there and that needs fixed. So I'm going to work on that a little bit, figure out what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Probably advertise and stuff. And we have a uh, stone storage installed as well. I got to figure out where to put a salt storage as I'm going to need one of them as well for winter time. All right, so I just came back up here with a uh, some gravel uh, at the uh, entrance here because I'm going to fix this right away so I don't, you know, bust up any of my trailers or anybody that's going to be driving in here making appointments doesn't ruin their cars and bottoms out rips the uh side skirts off or bumpers or whatnot so we're just gonna go ahead and uh fix this here uh throw the gravel down level it all out uh it's not gonna be the prettiest job in the world it's gonna be a quick job i'm not you know gonna be too worried about of the looks of it right now i just want to get it fixed so nothing get nothing happens to no one's cars or my trailers but yeah that's what we're doing right now so i'm gonna go head back down here and grab my uh, skid steer and flatten it out. All right, well, we got the front entrance all fixed up, done up. It should be a lot better and smoother to drive on so you're not ripping nothing off your vehicles or messing your trailers up. But I'm going to head back home, and I'm going to go back to sleep, and then I'm going to go ahead and go advertise some uh, flyers. Well, first, let me put away this equipment, and then go home and then make some flyers and stuff and then go to sleep.
All right, well, I'm heading down to the house now. Oh, wow, yeah, that's actually a lot smoother to drive on. Not the best work. Could have done better, but I'm not, you know, going to be worried about the looks right now. Like I said, we're going to be heading down to the house right now. I got to hop on the computer, make a couple advertisements, and I'm going to go back to sleep for a little bit. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys leave a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed, post notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe.